Hola. I'm here today with Matis. And I'm here with Laurel. And we're going to talk about Ecuador today. A country very near and dear to my heart because I was a Peace Corps volunteer and I lived in Ecuador for two years in the Amazon rainforest. I loved my time as a volunteer and I was very lucky because I got to work with the Ministry of the Environment during a time when they had recently adopted uh, a constitutional amendment to recognize the rights of nature. It was amazing because it was the first time that's happened anywhere in any country. So I was also very excited to find when I joined Global Footprint Network that we had done some work with them as well. Uh, we had a particularly interesting meeting in 2009 uh, where we showed our ecological footprint and biocapacity graphs. So back in 1961, they had about four to five times more biocapacity than footprint. Their footprint per person grew a little bit and their biocapacity per person went down quite a bit because they were now more Ecuadorians sharing Ecuador so that they're close to an ecological deficit right now. And they said, are you against the right to develop? El derecho al desarrollo, and we said, absolutely not. We totally, as an organization, want everybody to have great lives. But what we see in these graphs is more el derecho al colapso, the right to collapse. And they said, maybe so. And interestingly enough, then, they adopted as part of their national development plan the idea that Ecuador must avoid being in an ecological deficit. And consequently, also, we did some direct work with the ministry to verify the numbers, to actually see is, are they moving closer or further away from their goal. So if you're interested in learning more about that particular case study, please check it out on our website. And if you want to dig a little deeper into the, the numbers for Ecuador, you can check that out on our open data platform, data.footprintnetwork.org. That's a cool platform and she's spirited it. <laughs> see you next time. Sí, señor, a mi lindo Ecuador.